here's what we like to start doing now. It, we missed the part where we got the halter on him. It was a little bit western, but I mean, he, he took to it. But now we want him to start feeling. I pick up weight in that room. He needs to start bringing his feet forward. Or I'm going to bring this whip to his ribs. There, just, if, he, if he'll seek softness in the rope, I let up on him. So when in slow motion, come forward, failure, whip, tap, tap. If he pulls back, he's going sideways. I want him coming forward, and then I let up. There you go. So once I kind of get thinking about needing there, we'll advance it as we go. I want to start kind of getting in here beside him. And I want him to tolerate me. Really up against him here. So I'm going to rub him with that rope. Let him feel it. I might reach out here and kind of grab his cheek piece there. Kind of rub my body. Right up against his ribs and let him feel me on both sides of him here. And I'm just gonna kind of hold him so he doesn't right about. What I'm gonna watch for is right, right about there. He said, I just quit. Put the rope over his back here. Let him feel that. Snag that cheek piece and just kind of bend him to me a little. Just be prepared to don't get your hand hung up in there. I'll rub up against his ribs with my belly. I'll rub. Stay with him. I'll wait for him. And I'll wait for him. And I'm not pulling on his face. I'm just trying to keep him bent to me a little bit. There. When he got quiet, I just kind of get in here with him. I'll just stay in there. Muscles were still in there. Kind of pulling to you. Kind of pulling to you. And I've had a lesson on diesel here. And see if just kind of let me in here. Come up to Daddy. Stands nice and quiet. I'll kind of leave him alone. Look here, walk off and leave him. There we go. I'll kind of get up here and touch on him a little bit. Look here. Look how he didn't bite that rope. I just slipped it over his neck. Good. So now he's, he's already kind of thinking about following the weight of that rope there. See? Look here. up against him. Let him kind of feel me rubbing up on his ribs here a little. Just don't get stepped on here when he, when he settles. There, tell him how smart he is. And again, I'll kind of come in here. There we go. Good. I just kind of lean right into him. Good boy. I want him to Follow his nose out of that deal. I'll just kind of stay right here and wait. And right there is what I was reintroduce that to him. I'll let that kind of fall back down there. And I'll just let it kind of ride along his hocks. And what I'm going to watch for is that he makes an effort. Let him feel this again. Now 
but he's going to want to start thinking about coming to his right. That's, that's what saved him last time. I'll just kind of hold him here at that 45 degree angle. They never see it coming. If you go to reach up here like this, they see that coming, and a lot of times they don't like it. Okay, we'll just come back later and mess with him again. So, what I meant to say was, uh, so when I untie, what I like to do is drop it around their neck and then make them step to me a couple of times like this, and then I let go. I want them. I want to leave them before they leave me. 